Earth, a well-known habitable planet full of many kinds of organisms such as animals and plants. It is the third planet from the Sun and it is our home. We humans have evolved with our superior knowledge and effort to learn. We've built an abundance of great things because of this. Our civilizations have bloomed in more ways than one. In spite of all these advancements though, humanity is also full of flaws. In our pursuit of evolvement, the consequences go unmanaged. We ignored these facts for so long and now it's come back to bite us. One main example is global warming. Global warming brings us rising sea levels, heat waves, and expansion of deserts, fires, and many more disasters that ruins this planet we call home. Advancements made in the name of human involvement does not justify our ruining of Earth. In this case, global warming affects our climate in major ways, such as the occurrence of extreme weather events. Due to climate changes, it in turn negatively affects human society, especially in the spreading of diseases, particularly the spreading of vector-borne diseases. We've only touched the surface concerning the effects of global warming, and already climate change proves to be fatal. How can we overcome this predicament? We may not be able to stop it immediately since this phenomenon took years to become this lethal, but there are steps we can take to reduce global warming. One way would be to reduce the usage of cars as it contributes in releasing around 25 gigatons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Of course, cutting cars out of the equation completely isn't really an option, but we can always opt for carpooling, am I right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's very nice. Another simple way that almost anybody can do, given the proper living spaces, is to plant trees. A single tree can absorb up to one ton of carbon dioxide during its lifetime. Another simple effort is to cut down our usage of air conditioning. Air conditioners cool down our living quarters and make even the hottest days feel cool. But they also release chlorofluorocarbons into the atmosphere, which in turn traps more heat. Thus, a vicious cycle is repeated. The earth heats up whilst we cool ourselves down with air conditioners, which causes the planet to get hotter. The only way to cut off this cycle is to cut down our usage of air conditioners before it gets any worse. Humans should also reduce the electricity usage. Electricity. A major discovery that led to the evolution of human civilization. Because of it, we conquered the night with man-made light and made our lives as comfortable as memory foam. But there's always a price to pay. Using electricity also releases heat. And because of the CO2 in our atmosphere, that heat is trapped under the ozone layer. To solve this, all we have to do is switch off unnecessary electric appliances. Conserve energy using reusable power supply such as solar or hydroelectricity. We can also celebrate Earth Day where we can spend one hour electricity free. Since the very beginning, Earth has always been our home. Mother Nature has provided us with various resources and yet we continue to abuse the environment. If humanity doesn't change soon, our planet may not be inhabitable anymore. What will our future behold then?